Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you on a quiet Monday here, May 22nd. Uh, it's the Monday after the Friday that Powell spoke. We waited all day, 5 p.m. Uh, on Ascension Week Friday, for Jay Powell and Bernanke to basically say nothing. That was fairly annoying. Um, by saying nothing, though, they didn't press the inflation panic button. They didn't. They didn't press the hawkish, crazy hawk man uh, button, and so the dollar uh, sold off a little bit, right? So I mean, we went into this thing at uh, one hundred seven ninety in euro, and here we are at one hundred eight twenty. We've been figure thirty since the speech. You can see yields here. You know, they, they popped up to 70, 372. Now we're back at 365. Um, pretty much no man's land here. Pretty much data dependent. Um, speaking of that, let's look at the calendar here. Uh, the next inflation uh, moment. I guess in Europe is PMIs on Tuesday, um, German and French. Uh, we have Kiwi rates this week, and then Core PCE on Friday is is an inflationary indicator in the U.S. So God, gotta wait till Friday for more inflationary data in the U.S. Where do we stand with all this? Uh, I don't know. We we have a we have a mildly we have a mildly long uh, euro bias here kind of want to kind of want to buy dips number of reasons right so we're we're getting stretched from this moving average that we like to watch and certain distance from it we like to we like to look and fade it's come down now a fair bit so down from 111.80 I'm sorry, 110.95 down to 107.50. Um, in a period where the global macro picture, uh, the political picture, um, and the story is actually dollar negative. Uh, so I view this move from 110.96 to 107.58 as, uh, you know, sort of a Shawshank on um, on the flock, right? Everyone got a little bit too too short dollars, a little bit too far over their skis. Everyone, including Privateer, was you know eagerly waiting for the 111 break, um, and then uh, it's you know grab your ankles, baby. You know 300 points uh, in the wrong direction. So, is this going to slowly turn here? I mean. That is our that's our mild bias uh, for today uh, and for this week, uh, but it's hard to express that right. So there's no real great setups. Perhaps you can add to longs through 108.30. Um, I don't know what you know. I don't see any kind of triggers for any of this. We do have the FOMC minutes on um, on Wednesday. The calendar is bleak. I don't know. I'm also in a pissy mood because my Celtics are getting their asses kicked uh, in the NBA uh, Eastern Conference Finals. I know that seems silly, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So I don't know what we're going to do today. Probably looking at this uh, Euro level. Also, I guess dollar yen through 50. Uh, again, these are not five-star levels. And just saying that out loud is a reminder why would you ever trade something that's not a five-star level? There's literally no point unless you're an addict or a gambler or whatever. So it looks like guns are going to be down today. Um, we'll sit with what we've got. Gold, I think, should inch higher. Uh, we didn't get down to 35 like we hoped, so we don't own any gold on that dip. 
I think there's a lot of people who don't own any gold on that dip, and then this could create, there could be some FOMO here if we get back up through 1985. Something to watch. Uh, the other one, which is just, you know, sort of, as we've spoken a million times, completely insane and, and utterly untradeable is this one, Euro Swiss. Why is Euro Swiss? Why did Euro Swiss trade 9706? I know retail's wildly long Euro Swiss, which is like a harbinger of death, as we all know. Uh, but look at that bar on, on Friday. We don't have a nickel in this. We just, we're just like it's kind of like watching like a comedic horror movie. Um, you know, we just watch it for the fun of it. Uh, like I think Scream. I'm not really much of a movie guy, but this. We should we should call Euro Swiss Scream. Um, has a funny mask on, and there's a knife in his hand, and some girl with big tits is about to get slashed or something. I don't know. Uh, but look at Euro Swiss. Look at that. Uh, look at that bar. Equities globally are higher. Uh, vol is on its knees, and Euro Swiss is, you know, dancing, dancing on the grave, on its grave, and it gapped open, look at that, I don't even, I mean, what is this, like, we closed 15, but we, we kept open 11, we traded 06, um, I don't know, just pointing it out makes no sense, um, not much else out there, really, I mean, uh, can you get ready to sell some uh, dollar max, this is basically the strongest trending pair of the year, uh, probably not, right? You're right in the middle of nowhere. You gotta wait till it gets up to 17, 90, 18, double O. Uh, so again, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. Let's quickly look at oil. See what that's doing. It's a cute chart. Oh no, it's not cute. That's the dailies. Um, yeah, oil's not doing anything either. Guns down here. Um, trying to build. Uh, into the story on how we're going to get short dollars uh, going into the next couple of weeks. I guess we're watching the debt ceiling bullshit. Uh, I didn't even read the newspapers this morning yet, so um, I'm going to head into the office and, and I guess spend a quiet morning uh, flipping through the FT and the Wall Street Europe and, and pass the day, you know, maybe get some admin done today. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.